Hey Chip, how hey, you doing? How's it going? Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too. So we have Chip in, in the booth. Uh, he's from Harris Corporation. They make some super high tech stuff. This is uh, we're gonna try to consolidate all the information in, in you know a five minute video, but there's a lot to know. Um, so let's talk about the ruggedized tablet first. Yeah, so Harris went out and we developed a uh, a ruggedized tablet for the uh, soldier as a uh, as a dismounted edge device connected to a, uh, a radio, a tactical radio, um, down at the edge. The ruggedized tablet, all mill standard, has shock and vibe. Yeah, he says so he's, I mean, drop it on the ground. He said whatever, soldier proof. Soldier proof. Uh, That's cool. Water weatherproof. It uh, it runs the latest Android. Um, platform on it, and, and, and you said that that's what the army is going to. That's that's the army is using these primarily right now. Okay. But uh, you know, Marines, Navy, especially like your SEALs or things like that, dismounted soldier forces that are going on targets. You can view uh, ISR receivers, so UAVs flying overhead. You can pull that video down for your situational target, awareness. Situational awareness. What's going on? Right. And um, you said you can control your comms. You can also hook to the radio. The radio. Actually control the radio from the tablet. Okay. Uh, changing channels, frequencies, so to speak. So, it's amazing. Absolutely. All right, yeah. and then so you have a, this is more for a vehicle. You can dismount it from a vehicle, but it's more for a vehicle. Uh, well, it, it, yeah, it could be either or. Either um, or. There is a vehicle mount that goes with it. Right. And so you, you can just pull it, tuck it in a. You know, pants pocket, or you have a, te uh, a holster here, right? And then go on target, and then you put it in there to, in, in the vehicle, and then it, it in goes the vehicle, to vehicle. It charges off the vehicle. It charges, and then rug. goes to that communication. Yeah. And then when you dismount, you have about six hours. Six hours on it. So, so for something a little bit more handheld, you have the uh, something more handheld. Uh, this is the Harris In Touch, so it's just a basically a smaller version of the tablet. Um, and this also runs the Android platform, and it has about a four-hour battery, four to five okay. dismounted. Um, again, same things. These are ruggedized, mil spec, shock and vibe. Water resistant. Water. Throw it in the throw it in the river if you're crossing okay. a river, whatever. Right. Um, things like that. It uh, again runs Android, the latest platform. So some of the features are they very similar? The features or is it very similar? Very similar. Um, you can they have a uh, you can touch them with the gloves. Uh, they have night vision. Oh, so. and you said that's, a, that's an important point. So it doesn't have to be the little touch gloves Not that like we see. Not like your cell phone or something like that right. where you have to touch Just any hand. type of glove. Any type of uh, tactical glove out okay. there um, that, that soldiers are using on targets. Uh, uh, with the gloves, you've got, um, you can view them with your night vision goggles. That's, that's so if point. you're on target, backlit, uh, you don't want the backlight, obviously. Right. So um, you can do that. Uh, it runs the same basically the same applications, situational awareness, you could text message using one of the radio's waveforms. Uh, you know, wow. just, yeah, so I many I mean, you could just see where everything's evolving right. now. Is A lot of, uh, the, these are out there right now with the police. A lot of cops, they use them on their LTE networks. So okay. they pull up, you know, take a picture of a, of a guy, you know, pull up all his stuff. Kind of like their computer in their cop cars, right, right. just replaces it, dismount it. Right, so then so, they can just grab right, it and go. a lot of biometrics and things like that. So let's talk about the radios. Or okay, the yeah, so this is a PRC-152 Alpha. Um, this is uh, our dismounted, uh, basically our dismounted rifleman radio. Okay. So a soldier has it, you know, on his, on his person. It runs all your legacy standard waveforms. So everything that's been fielded in the Army, the Marine Corps, the Navy, it runs those waveforms, but also to include two new wideband waveforms. So the Harris ANW2 waveform, which has been adopted by the Army as a, as a mid-tier networking solution for, right. a, for a, a dismounted radio. And then also the soldier radio waveform, which is more at your platoon level. Okay. So as a platoon dismounts, they have this basically wireless mesh ad hoc network, and they can exchange high amounts of data and voice simultaneously. Within there? Within their network, yes. Right, I got you. And then is that network, it, does, it, it can't be penetrated or hacked no, into? No, so and... this radio has, uh, it's type one certification, so it's able to top secret. Okay. So yeah, so no, those those waveforms are up, are classified up to TS. All right, got so, it. Um, and then all these components work together? All these components complement each other. Uh, you know, with cabling to this and that, uh, the, using the radio's capabilities, that's where you'll pull down either the ISR receive video or you're controlling the radio or you're text messaging another another soldier. Yeah. And basically, situational awareness is huge. Right. PLI in the Army and, and the Navy, 
is you know seeing what's out there, seeing where your guys are on the battlefield, and that's really a lot what they're using these for. So. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's all the communication. And, and one thing about this radio, uh, it actually was a, uh, chosen as a capability set 13 fielded, dismounted radio within the army. So um, the so army has been field through use. A network integration evaluation at Fort Bliss, Texas. Okay. It's been through its, the ringer basically, and, and so it's been adopted, and, and now it's being fielded in Afghanistan with a couple brigades that are nice. deploying this spring. So all of this is fairly new technology to the right. military, and they're just starting to integrate it and yeah, use it. And it's just starting to integrate it. Uh, again, there's a huge exercise in El Paso called Network Integration Evaluation, which takes uh, various industry partners, brings them together, tests their equipment, you know, in the field with soldiers. Right. And then they, you know, they basically choose the best one. And you get feedback from it. You get and feedback from the soldiers. You get feedback from instrumentation, things like that. Whether your product is fieldable, right. needs improvement, and so this radio has been out there for about two years, tested, hardened, and now is being fielded. So that's awesome. Yeah. Chip, awesome. I appreciate you coming by Thank and talking you. with nice us. To meet you, Todd. Absolutely. Thank you.